This is the one which you can't open without a degree in opening. The nickel replacement treatment remained stuck in the form in which it was first developed in the 1980s. So you know, it's 45, 50 years without much change in nicotine delivery. E-cigarettes allow better nicotine delivery and allow tailoring to what the person actually requires. They can buy stronger liquid, they can puff more vigorously, uh, it gives much more control over that. And I think that uh, ability to tailor what you need to your, you know, with your product is probably one big advantage. E-cigarettes also provide nicotine faster than the uh, existing NRT products, which seems to be important for the rewarding effects of nicotine. And they also provide a considerable degree of what, what you could call behavior replacement. So people have something to fiddle with, there's a, a, there's a taste, there's a, a degree of enjoyment. Yeah, Kazi I can just quote the evidence reviews, which I think were very thorough and careful. And the verdict was that it's quite likely that uh, vaping poses some risks, but that these risks are going to be over long term and taking the current uncertainty into account, less than 5% of risks of smoking. Uh, that is not the right question because people who become daily vapors are invariably ex-smokers. We don't see non-smokers who become vapors. Smoking is on the way out uh, and in 10, 20 years time uh, smoking will be really rare. But in the meantime, there's a lot of people who already smoke. There is no new generation coming smoking, but people who already smoke need to be, uh, require help and can't be just you know, abandoned. Yeah. 